on that should be good. Well, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Rick Madamus back again, ready to play another episode here of our Brilliant Diamond Fighting Type Challenge. Um, so it's been a while since we've been on. I've been a little busier at work. So I'm hoping to... The plan is, guys, to wrap up this playthrough in the next couple episodes. That way we are ready for Legends of RCS that comes out in a couple of weeks here. Okay, so last time it was um, what I think was a little bit uneventful. But we made it up to the fighting area here. Made our way up Route 225 to the survival area, up 226, and 227 to Stark Mountain. Made our way into the mountain and pretty much called it quits there. Um, I was pretty frustrated with how the uh, <clears throat> pretty frustrated with how the uh, playthrough went. I, it was pretty boring. Um, we got kind of got lost in the cave. The second battling with the partner kind of slowed everything down. So I'm hoping today can go a little quicker. What I'd like to do is finish up around 228, 229, 230, make our way to the resort area, and then wrap up a few things here and there, and head out and begin our uh, gym re-challenge. Okay, so yeah, the hope is that we can re-challenge the gym here, and move forward from there um I, yeah i want to re-challenge each one of the gyms and then i want to take on the elite four again and that's pretty much going to be it guys um if we can do all that without getting destroyed by the elite four or more or less cynthia's garchomp i would call that a success so we'll go from there we'll use that And we'll see how it goes. So what I did um, since the last time I'm playing, guys, I actually went and caught all the fighting types we can have in the game. So with the natural deck open, I went and caught a few more of the fighting types. I did some breeding, so I had to catch this Macargo with the flame body. Um, I was going to throw Poliwag and eventually Poliwrath into the lineup. But his moveset wasn't the greatest. Um, I didn't think he was going to necessarily be the best choice for the team. Um, I wanted to get rid of Toxicro because I was sick and tired of kind of useless nothingness that I was getting from him. So what I did was I caught bread, uh, caught some bread, uh, Reloom. Well, Shroomish evolved it up to Breloom, and we're slowly leveling him up here. Um, he's going to be a little under-leveled. I'm hoping that by the time we face the Elite Four again, he'll be somewhere in the 60s-ish level. So we'll go from there, see what happens. Um, if I can get him up to 60, I'm hoping that's around where the gyms are at. So we'll see. If not, I'm not I, not losing anything by not having Toxic Croak in there. Um, everyone else is leveling up pretty good. Infernape should probably hit level. You guys can't really see. It's behind my screen there. Should hit level. He's level 93 now. I'm guessing by the time we get to the Elite Four, he'll be level 100. So I guess we'll see. Okay, so we're going to continue on this way. Um, talk to a few people here. Well, not that many times. And continue on our way here. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, can't really see very well, so I guess we'll see what happens here. Um. Let's say Jose. Yeah. I thought I said Jace for a second. So we'll do a few battles here, try to make it through this area. 
I don't know if this is the best way to go from the top like this, or it's better to come from the bottom. But we're gonna go this way anyways and see how it goes. Yeah, so I didn't do very much over the last little bit, just a, a little bit of the breeding, a little bit of the training. Um, I didn't get to play as much. I wanted to play this weekend, but I didn't really get a chance to, which is fine. Um, so there we go, Infinite already level 94. Setting up that Sand Slash. Let's get Metachem out there. Um, yeah, I would have liked to play a little bit more this weekend, but that's alright, no big deal. Um, when the next game comes out, and we do our next playthrough, um, I'm anticipating we're going to be playing quite a bit. We'll try to get on as much as we can. That way we, uh, oh, come on. That way we don't miss anything. I don't necessarily want to fall too far behind the rate of play of the rest of the world I like to stay a little bit caught up so that uh, maybe there's a chance we run into something that not very many other people have run into or come on what are we doing here yeah uh, or do some stuff that's not necessarily common knowledge or spoiled yet by the internet so please hit thank you what a waste of my time. Yeah, no, the closer this other game gets, the more excited I'm getting. Um, I can't wait for it to come out. It's going to be sweet. Um, I don't know. Can I defog this? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Uh, give me a second, guys. Sorry, I just heard my phone go off in the background. Um, well, I guess we will try to make our way through. Try not to lose anything. Try not to miss anything. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. I also don't want to hate walk. <sighs> Come on. No, stop. Okay, ninja, I'll fight a ninja here. I noticed that uh, Infernape took a little bit more damage than I wish he, than I would have liked him to. But that's alright, no big deal. <laughs> so I did catch a Mankey, I thought about putting a Prime Ape on the team, but he's just a little, mm, he's not a little, but he's a lot weaker than uh, a champ. I do like Primeape quite a bit. Seeing Mankey here kind of makes me regret not switching Machamp out, but then that's just two guys that so we have to level up quite a bit. And like I said, guys, we're getting close to the end of our uh, little playthrough here, so that's not, come on. Yeah, we're getting to the end of the playthrough. Don't have much more to do. I Like I said, I'd like to get to a few of the gym battles today for sure. A few of the gym battles, at least that way next time we play, we can do a handful more of the gym battles or even start the Elite Four. So that's the plan. That's where we're going. Come on. Unless these guys are going to bother me. This is the one guy I couldn't get. He had... There was a weird thing to get him. Was it just in the underground? Am I saying stuff that's not true? I don't remember. There's a reason I didn't get him. Because I like the Hariyama. Um, but let's put some... Let's put... Uh, 
Machapo. We haven't used Machapo in a while, so let's, let's get him out here, give uh, Infinite a little bit of a break, and go from there. Uh, low kick, because he's gonna have, it's gonna be a heavy Pokemon, so this should be half decently effective. Yeah. Underrated move. I didn't realize how much I was going to appreciate that move throughout this game. But it actually come in quite handy. So Brelum leveling up there. Not the fastest leveling up, but I'm not going to complain. He's doing a half decent job. Um, oh, I didn't even see this trainer here. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything by skipping over that bike path over there. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I 100% feel like I'm going the wrong way. But that's alright. We'll survive. Hey, by Palm. Probably one of my lesser favorite uh, Sinnoh evolutions. There were definitely quite a few other really nice ones, like uh, Electivire and Gliscor. That ate by Palm. Eh, iffy. That's alright, though. I do appreciate the evolution, so. Rapidash. So I still don't have, like this is, I noticed there were quite a few fire Pokemon throughout the game, so that's why I wanted the water. But uh, Polyrath didn't learn too, too much. So let's go with uh, Machamp here again. Get him out here, we'll use that rock. Slide, is that what he has? I, uh, I would, wouldn't would mind if this sandstorm messed off, but I don't remember there being a sandstorm here. I honestly don't remember the post-game of this game very much. I don't remember that mountain that we did last time. I definitely would have remembered getting stuck in there forever. Oh, I didn't even look to see who we were sending out. Oh, okay, I can handle Chansey. He'll most likely heal me anyways. Uh, I'll go cross drop because I don't necessarily think Chansey is that heavy of a Pokemon. So that works. We can go with that. Beauty. The champ looking good up there. Looking like a champion. He is a champion. An Elite Four champion. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just go this way. Oh, I just I don't want to run into a ton of Pokemon today. Well, I do, but I also like I don't want to. I don't want to be super slowed down because I want to get to at least the first two, if not three or four gym battles today. That's the plan. First two, minimum. If we're still running on half decent time, then the... Ooh, I gotta switch him out here. I'm getting buffered by the sandstorm. Well, Power Punch should get him here. Yeah, I gotta pay attention more to this Sandstorm. It's gonna become a pain in the, pain in the butt here real quick. Heal up before I move here. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, I might just use a Mass Potion. And a Hyper Potion. Perfect. Okay, um, uh, this is not easy to see, and I'm actually having trouble. See, I can't even tell if that down there is a jump up or a jump down on the bike. Oh, it's not even, it's a, it's a ramp for the bicycle. Okay, now I, now I sound stupid. 
All right, well, might as well check this out real quick. Then I take it, we're gonna go south here. We'll see, what does he want? Let me, what's standing moves, the ultimate moves. Oh, is this the guy that teaches like blast burn to Infernape? I'm pretty sure it's not a physical move. Yeah, no. So we'll skip on blast burn. Um, well, is there a way to go this way? Okay, so let's get on my bike here. Oh, into a dragon tamer. All right, that's right. We're set up to fight dragons now, so I'm good. Metacham is become quite a powerful Pokemon in my lineup. These Gyarados though are still just a pain. Especially that Intimidate. Oh yeah, that's close combat him. I already lowered my attack, so haha. <laughs> I guess I'm Level 94, right? So. Now I gotta give him the chance to do a ton of damage to me. Beautiful, beautiful. See you later, see you later Keegan. Okay, let's see, let's see. Down, across. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Break that. Yeah, this is definitely isn't the best. Okay, so I'm missing that double battle there. Oh, okay. Just decide. Oh, sure. Why not talk to Infernape? Shiny stone. Yeah, when I was down looking for hard scales, I found a ton of shiny stones and stuff like that. I wonder if Sandstorm works in reverse. Okay, um, yeah, uh, do I want to try to throw Bralum in here? See if he can get dummied or not? Oh, no, no, oh, that's awkward. That's not who I wanted to walk with. I'll never, ever not want to walk with him for name. He's the guy. But I do want to switch Bralum in. Let's see if he can get him some uh, extra experience here. See if uh, Infernape can get him through this battle. Thrower on the execute. Guess we can use drain punch over here. See what see what happens. I don't know how strong he's gonna be. But that gets rid of any possible psychic types that mess me up here. See, there we go. A little bit extra. I mean, he was close. He was gonna level up there anyways. Oh, and he's got the strength. I did breed Brelum to have the bonus in. I'm pretty sure he has an adamant nature. Um, but he's getting pretty strong. Uh, I definitely think he surpassed. No, there's no way he surpassed. Uh, did he surpass uh, Toxicroak? I'd have to take a look. Um. Let's go close combat over here and let's see if we can knock this earth ring out with Relum here. Perfect. Get him, get him. No, not quite. That's alright though. Oh, paralyzed him, so. 
Nice. What a move. I really like Earth Ring. He's one of my I one of my favorite. If I ever did a normal team, just straight normal, I would consider an Earth Ring for the team. Just that brute bear strength. Why not? Let's see if I can get a little bit of health back here. I'm sure Infinite will get the first attack. Knock him out. There we go, though. Well, that works. I think one of the reasons I like uh, Earth Ring so much is that Pokemon Forever movie. That's the one Celebi. Forever, I think. Because um, that one trainer turned that uh, Tyranitar and Earth Ring, I believe. It was, it was a Tyranitar for sure. Did he have an Earth Ring? And do you like just these powerhouses? Maybe it was just a Tyranitar and I'm just making stuff up now. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm missing anything. So I'll just keep going. I'm gonna do a bunch of battles here. Some more ace trainers. I do appreciate the fact that most of these guys are Wow, uh, they're not necessarily strong, but they're using all new Pokemon, right? So I'm not necessarily fighting guys I have, even though I've already fought a couple of Gyarados. So normal type. Boom, ba 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 boom. And my attack rose. Is that it though? I'm pretty sure she only had one purple. One person, or did she have more than one? No, more than one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm, uh, oh, I can just leave. Now I'll get in pretty out of the out of the sandstorm for a bit. Wonder why they, she doesn't have a Yen Mega. That'll do. Yeah, I didn't realize how strong that uh, Ice Punch is going to be on Metacham. He's just a straight stone cold killer now. Okay, do I try to get out of my way, Infernape? Go across here. Oh, I guess I could have gone. I didn't even I, see. I'm having trouble seeing. I can't. I couldn't even tell. I could go behind those trees there. Oh, let's fight someone here. A dug trio. You know what? We did we come across these guys at all in the game? No, we didn't. Which is weird because they're in the underground, right? Was there a spot where we could have caught a Diglett? I don't know what I'd actually think about it. Cause I feel like we explored every route to the point where we should have seen any uh, any and every Pokemon. Well, we did. We did. He wasn't in the in the Sinnoh deck, right? Because we had to have the Sinnoh deck completed before we can get the National deck. Oh yeah, what's this guy out here in the middle here doing? Is it? Oh, okay. Just living in a house in the middle of nowhere. Oh, so nice to have clear skies there for a split second before uh, the sandstorm kicked in again. Yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, Infernape appreciates the The sandstorm. Doesn't mind the experience though. We gotta be close to level 95, at least halfway there. Yeah, I don't doubt, I'm pretty sure we'll be close to level 100 by the time we fight the, uh, the Elite Four. Okay, nah, we'll just walk around. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm not missing any battles. So this guy, then I think I go up the, well, I guess I can go back down, but. 
but we'll cross this bike path, see if there's anything there, and keep going. Shop it. Like I said last time, I think Shop it and Benet are half decent Pokemon. Um, those are the games though that I didn't play, like I said. So I never really got the chance to put to use any of the Gen 3 guys. Which is a shame because there's some half decent Gen 3 guys out there. Uh, I think my favorite is uh, Agron for sure. Duskull. Oh, I'll get hair across out here. I debated moving hair across off my team for Polyrath. If I was going to move anyone, it was probably going to be Heracross. But I really, Heracross is one of my favorite. Didn't really want to lose him. So I'm actually happy we decided against Polyrath. And it really came down to his, his, his moveset just wasn't, wasn't the greatest. He didn't have a very good moveset with the with water moves pretty much like there were no he didn't have the water moves that would help me out in the game so it's all right um let's go check up here first oh i think we're close to the end of the route no not that i'm here pretty much i don't want to look okay well, how do i get down there down this one the little thing over here Am I almost out of the sandstorm, please? Oh my goodness, thank you. Where are we close to? Oh, that's it? That's all that route was? It's not a very long route. Okay, um, let's go. Ooh, ooh, almost missed a double battle. Turn, turn, oh, actually, let's heal first. Double battle against ace trainers? Woo hoo hee, here we go. Sorry, my voice kinda cracked there. That was pretty. Pretty pathetic. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Bring it. Yes. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, there it is. That's what I thought. This is uh so now I found my brother all my brothers in NPCs in this game. With Ace Trainer Felix being the last one. Alright. Oh I forgot I had Breloom. I was totally one hundred percent going with uh i had metacham out here that's funny oh pressure and intimidate okay okay let's go flamethrower over here oh yeah i was like why why did it say super effective okay flamethrower over here and force palm over here Yeah, I think teaching uh, Infernape's Flamethrower was probably one of our smarter moves. Doesn't hurt to have that uh, special attack there. Especially when his special attack wasn't that low. Oh, you fool! You've messed up! Did it hit both of us? Oh, no, just one. Salamance. Huh. And a second Intimidate. Ooh. That could hurt. Okay, let's go with... Close combat over here. Drain punch over here. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna get him, but that's all right, because I think we should be able to take out this. Oh, flew up high anyways. Okay, so maybe what I'll do I switch Breloom out because that fly, well, that fly will mess any of us up. Fly will really mess Breloom up though. I think that's what I'll do. I'll switch Breloom out for Metacham. Fight, we'll use Flamethrower over here and we'll switch him out for Metacham. I guess I gotta 
Is flying, how does flying do against steel? Could I put could I put Lucario out there for a half decent? So let's see, was the fly against Infernape or was it against Breloom for the four times effective? Breloom. You sneaky devil, you. Not this time. Oh, that's, uh, that'll be fine. A little ice punch in here. There we go. Holy, they must have lowered uh, Infernape quite a bit to be slower than Metacham. I guess he's got a speed of 186 now, so that's not super slow. But look at that attack, 166. Let's look at this real quick, 166. Let's go to the boxes real quick. To the window. Okay, 166. So 208. And he's got 40 levels on him almost. So not super far behind. He does have a stronger attack than Metacham, but remember Metal Metacham's ability doubles his uh, attack. So Metacham's sitting at a 302 right now, which is by far the strongest. Yeah, I just, he was, it wasn't as fast. Actually, he wasn't the slowest. I mean, Brelum's not fast. But Brelum's going to be stronger than him at the end. So, yeah, I'll take that trade. Okay, um, so that's the way back that way. Okay, uh, let's go. I didn't check out over here. I don't think there's anything over here, so quick check and come on. I took a pinky step with my one toe. Um, yeah, ball beat's kind of lame. He's one from uh, Gen 3 that I'm not missing total. Didn't miss out too much by getting him. Oh, there's a ton more over here. Can I get through these trees? Of course I can't. And I'm in this long grass now, so I'm going a little bit slower. Ugh, I'm just not in that sandstorm anymore though. Holy cow, it's hard to, hard to track. Yeah, Infernape's running out of moves here. We're gonna have to. What I think I'll do is I'll go down, hit that Poke Center up before we go across the water there. And then I might. No, not, I wasn't gonna say I might switch Brother Mode to the front, but that's not our. That's not the way we do things. A weeping Bell. Eh. Victory Bell's alright. I think he falls victim to the Gen 1 plainness, but like I said before, I don't mind the plainness. I think Bellsprout's a half decent Pokemon, so. That works. I don't think I've ever used a Victory Bell competitive, or like in any sense. I was about to say competitively, but. Haven't done much battling competitively. As you can see, I'm not the greatest in the world. Sometimes I get my type my typing correct. But uh, usually my strategy, I do I, I do know how to run strategy, but lots of times, especially in game, I'm just trying to bulldoze my way through everything. Hence why I lost to uh, he's a fairy type now. Fun. Is power punch still effective? Because I think he's very normal. Nope. Maybe is he just straight fairy? Yeah, in games I usually just try to bulldoze my way through. 
Hence why I lost to uh, the Elite Four twice, embarrassingly. But thinking about that, those were actually my most viewed videos, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, and on that topic, I want to say yeah, thanks for everyone who's tuned in and watches me constantly. Uh, I appreciate the views. Um, if you guys are just tuning in now and like what you see, make sure you check me out on Instagram at McManimous underscore live. Um, that's going to give you a little bit of background. Okay, uh, it shows a little bit more behind the scenes stuff. Uh, get to know me a little bit more as a person. Um, and if you miss any episodes, guys, so this is episode, I believe, 13 of our Type Challenge playthrough. If you've missed any of the previous episodes because they're no longer on my page at Twitch, you can always check them out on my YouTube page at W Brother Gaming. Um, as of right now, it's just me on the YouTube page. Uh, I'm trying to upload as many videos as I can. Eventually, I'm hoping that my brothers will be able to start uploading some of their videos. And if you like what I see, or like the way I play, then you're going to like the way that they play, guys. And they don't play just one game. Either do I, but that's all I'm playing right now. So, uh, yeah, give it a look. Um, appreciate all the support. But let's get back here, guys, after my shameless plug there. Um, I thought we were gonna, this was going to take us all like two seconds to get around. I thought it was just going to be a little bit extra, but apparently it's not. I remember when I used to, when I did play Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I uh, made a big deal about getting a cool looking Spinda. I didn't want a lame looking one. Um, we haven't used Lucario yet, I think. If we used Lucario here, we've used everyone this playthrough, so we'll sneak Lucario in here. Um, yeah, Lucario was... I don't want to say let down because he wasn't a let down because of anything they he did. He was more of a let down because I didn't train him correctly. So because of that, the Lucario in our playthrough didn't get the the best run. See, this is ever since I started competitively breeding for natures and EV training. I've kind of, it's kind of like taking me off just catching random Pokemon and playing with them. I make it makes it hard for me to like, like, oh yeah, I can use this guy when it's like in reality I'm using a Charizard with an adamant nature, and that's no bueno. So anything down here? Why did I come down here? So yeah, especially in Sword, Sword and Shield, I I was competitively breeding a lot of my Pokemon. If my starter wasn't a uh, good nature, I was going and breeding this. I would rush through that first like twenty minutes, half hour, and then make my way sneakily across the. Uh, I'd catch someone with a similar A group, and then I'd sneak across the open area and get to the. Breeding ground, hoping not to run until level 60 or 40. So that I could breed. And now I kind of have a hard time not doing that. So it was tough in this game to... Uh, let's do this. Berries up here. Shouldn't have done the berries. That's what I get. Um, it was tough in this game to pretty much do the whole game without breeding. I had to do a few soft resets, catch a few extra guys. And I still didn't end up with what I exactly wanted. Hence why I think I let the Lucario in my playthrough down. It didn't do him justice. Which is a shame because he is a pretty cool Pokemon. And I've used, a, I've used Lucario when he's bred correctly. Did we battle that guy up there? Had him behind that tree? Hmm, I'll have to go take a look. I, I don't think we did, so now we're gonna have to sneak all the way back around. A 
We're getting a ton of berries. And we haven't really used them. I guess it's kind of a waste for me doing this, but. Um, do we have any other twos? No, twelve sixes. Oh, might have to put a few more tomato berries here. Yeah, I guess it was kind of repetitive for me to do any of this, right? I didn't even use them that much. What's well, gonna be faster to loop back? Okay, we'll just go quickly. Quickly, as in probably fight four battles before I get to them. If anyone's watching, wondering what my mug says here. That's what I do. I read history and know things. So I'm a huge history buff, guys. Um, you could say it's kind of what I do for a career. I'll keep that to myself for now, though. Um, so what did I say? Three battles. So one. Here's two. Against guys that aren't necessarily the strongest. Could have done. It's probably going to turn my phone off the Wi-Fi. I know my Wi-Fi has a little bit of trouble sometimes, but I'm surviving. Just for a nugget, all that. Oh, okay. So it only took us two battles to get there. How many battles are going to take us to get out of here now? I'm actually kind of sad we didn't, I was thinking about it the other day, kind of sad we didn't run into any shiny Pokemon through this playthrough. I get pretty pumped up when we run into an accidental shiny. Um, did I run into any in Sword and Shield? I didn't do, I haven't found any accidental shinies in any of my playthroughs on Diamond or uh, Brilliant Diamond yet. Um, did I find any? Well, I, I definitely ran into accidental shinies in Sword and Shield. Who did I run into? Oh, I ran into, uh, what is the name of the Anteater, the Fire Anteater Pokemon? Uh, opposite of Durant. Yeah, that one's gonna bother me. Yeah, I was trying to find like a Halucha. Oh, come on, I've walked half a step and I've done three battles, and it's an Oddish. Yeah, I ran into. I was searching, trying to catch Halucha, and I accidentally ran into a yeah, shiny. Uh, oh gonna bother me not knowing what it was what was it the heck is it called yeah I don't remember I keep wanting to say Turtonator but that's not it at all it's not even close um, no I forget my bad guys I promise I do know what I'm talking about when I'm playing Pokemon. Okay, so we finished that route. Um, we're in the resort. We'll quickly look around the resort, see what there is. Um, I don't think we're missing much, but uh, we'll finish up that other route. And then we will, I guess, go and attempt to try fighting the gym leaders. No one up here. Uh, one person here. Yeah, that's another thing we didn't do, guys. We didn't do much of the uh, or the pageants. 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, I know my brother always liked doing them. But I, uh, yeah, it wasn't my necessarily my jam. Okay, so that's where we gotta go. My bad, I mean to run up there. Um, is there a game that I really did play them? I must have done them when I did uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh, I don't want to do the berries right now. <laughs> oh, another nugget. Nice. Don't. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm missing anything on that side of the lake. Oh. Didn't even realize there was that there. Okay. So I think that's it for that part of the resort. Now we just check out the actual resort area. This looks too precarious. No, just on an infinite. Yeah, I honestly don't remember what any of the, oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's, is this one of the, this must be a spot for the contest then, which I am not do. I didn't do. So, okay, so just check the town map real quick. So yeah, Ribbon Center, Ribbon Syndicate. So I guess we just gotta do this Route 230 and then that's pretty much it. Hopefully we don't get too lost surfing around here. So 230 here and then I thought that guy saw us. 2.30, and then I guess we'll uh, go and try to take on Rourke to start. Oh, I'm worried. I didn't, I promise I didn't go look anything up. All I know is that Rourke starts off with a really hardcore uh, Tyranitar, my brother said. That's the only one I know. That's the only guy that I know anyone has. So, Tyrannosaur is one of my favorite. I know he can be pretty, he could be a, quite a big powerhouse, so I'm looking forward to fighting him. So we'll go through. So maybe, what are we at here? Just under an hour. We got lots of time left. We, we should be able to get into at least, at least three. I think we can do three. Three today, five tomorrow or five whenever we play next and then they leave four so yeah guys we are coming close to wrapping up this uh this playthrough i've enjoyed it quite a bit um for my first run through i'm actually i'm happy with the amount of views we got happy how everything's looking so we'll uh we'll see how the next uh series goes But no point in being nostalgic yet. We still got lots of lots of game left, lots of lots to do in this series. Uh, let's see. Love disc might be one of the one of the weaker Pokemon. Weaker looking Pokemon. Nothing against the people that like Love Disc. Oh yeah, if this guy throws out a weak water Pokemon. Oh, I was gonna say we could put uh, we 
You could put uh, Brello Milk, but I don't want to play. <laughs> put him against a Lapras. I don't think he's very heavy, but Cross Up will still do lots of damage. There we go. Lapras is a cool Pokemon. Doesn't necessarily have the greatest typing in the world, but I think he's a actually a really cool Pokemon. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, make sure we're not missing anything. Like this trainer bat all the way up here. So far, not too much of a challenge going down this water route. See, it would be beneficial to have uh, Brella Milk front right now, but it's just not the way we do it. Not the way we rolled this whole game. Um, ouch. Ooh, my mic fell down. Sorry, guys. Give me a second here. Okay, there we go. Um, where are we at here? There we go. Ouch. I kind of punched my table there. Dugong. Shigong. Let's get hair across out here. Haven't used him for a little bit. Yeah, and I put all these moves on like counter and stuff to counter that uh guard chomp and they didn't even get a chance to use them but I have no idea what they're uh, what the leveling is gonna be like on these guys the second time around I'm gonna guess somewhere in the 80s if so that guard chomp could cause some troubles I don't want to embarrass them to lose on the last playthrough Um, yeah, that'd be, that's definitely not how I want to end the series with a, uh, with a loss to Cynthia Garchomp again. But we're running out of time here, right? Because we're pushing the, oh, I stopped this guy in the wrong, I'm going to have to go all the way around that rock now. Yeah, we're running out of time, right? Legends of Arceus come out soon. That's the game. I was excited for this one. Um, I expected a little bit more from it. I don't know why, because the remakes definitely aren't like aren't the greatest things in the world. They're they're nice to replay. You get lots of nostalgia feel from them. But I guess I expected a little bit more from this game. Um, I'm expecting a ton from that next game. Can you do it? Is it star me or star you? Oh, I didn't look. Uh, we better go with Medicham, just in case it's star me. Cause I know star me can learn some psychic moves. Could mess up, uh... oh, there we go. Good call. I know this ain't gonna do much, but. Does the Ice Punch have the chance to uh, to freeze solid? What is that Drain Punch? It's actually quite, it's actually a lot more effective than I thought it was gonna be. It's quite strong for being a health sucking move. Well, Brellum's gonna hit. He'll be level 50 here soon. Definitely not gonna be. Oh, nice. I don't have to. Come on. Don't have to go all the way around. Uh, he's not necessarily gonna be. I don't know if he's gonna be Elite 4 ready. 
by the time we get there. Maybe I'll do some quick grinding between the last two episodes here. But eh, we'll see. Considering this is we're coming to the coming to an end here and I don't think Brilliant Diamond connects to the Poker Bank yet. Yet. So I definitely don't want to just ditch all these guys that have spent the last what are we at here? 40 some hours played? Get oh no face seal. Huh, I wonder what's behind this rock here. Very precariously placed. No, nothing really. Oh, beautiful eye. Well, the good thing about it getting later in the day is soon the sun's gonna set. It won't be as bright on the screen anymore. Not a, like I, don't get me wrong, I love the night and day feature. It's probably the, one of the best features that Pokemon ever added in. But this, uh, this dusk is so bright with the oranges. Especially when I'm running with Infernape here and he's orange and red. Hey, level 50. Oh, plus five on his attack. That's what I'm talking about. 176. Ooh, dynamic punch. That's the one where. If I get rid. Oh, I might as well get rid of Force Palm. Drain Punch. Does more. Yeah, there we go. I'll do that. I'll take Dynamic Punch. We'll mess around with it a little bit here. See how it does. I guess I don't, do I still have Giga Drain on, uh, on Brellum? I definitely don't need Giga Drain if I have Drain Punch. So I don't think I'm going to get rid of Drain Punch. Oh, only level 18. I'm not going to waste my time here. Why am I fighting such a weak guy? Come on. Well, at least it's half decent competition now. Oh, I'm not attacking with special attack moves, so raising your special attack, your special defense ain't gonna do too too much. Well, Medita Medicham will probably Medicham Machamp will probably be level ninety by the time we fight the Elite Four, which those two were pretty crucial in us beating them the first time so I'm not gonna be against them being uh, a little stronger is there anything down here <sighs> come on okay let's continue down this route finish this up here and then uh, get into our oh nice night time now See, that looks so nice. That looks so much nicer than the, than the dusk, that's for sure. A lot easier on the eyes. Um, Tentacruel still causing us some troubles. Beauty, 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 beauty. Double battle. I'll do a double battle in the water. Holy Brellum in there. Come on, 
turn, 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 turn. I hope I'm not just standing here waiting for her to turn and she's not even going to move. I should be able to do a double battle here. Get out of my face, Pelipper. Okay. Turn. Oh, almost, <laughs> I almost ran away from it. <laughs> nice, here we go, here we go, here we go now. Okay, let's see if uh, I like Jinchu. I think he looks a lot cooler than Lantern, that's for sure, but that's all right. Okay, got to get rid of that. Man, Tyke. Can I get him with a flamethrower? Then we'll use Seed Bomb over here. So when I was doing Brelum's attacks, I didn't realize Seed Bomb was a physical attack, so... Oh. Yeah, that got him. That works. Oh, I better plug my computer in. Give me a second here, guys. Plug my computer in before it dies. There we go, perfect. Sorry guys. Some items I don't pay attention. Forgot to plug things in. Ouch, that's gonna hurt a little bit. No, never mind. I thought it was going to hurt a lot more than that. Yeah, see, Lantern's alright. Um, I guess we'll just use Seed Bomb again. Beauty. Yeah, it would have been nice to have uh, Brellum the whole time to fight out some of these water guys, because I know we fought quite a few water. Boom. Nice. And Brelum, I really like Brelum. He's one of my favorite guys. <laughs> I think he's pretty cool. Um, is that mad time? Such a pain in the butt. It's not going to be super effective, but... Oh, that works. This should, they'll get him now. I didn't realize Infernape would jump up that much. Because I'm pretty sure Mantine is still water flying. I think. I'm like 90% sure on that one. Must be, because I was still only effective, not super effective against them. So I'm going to switch that to 100% sure. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure we're almost done this route here, guys. We'll be back in that starting city again. Or starting town, whatever it was. And we can head out. Begin our attempt at, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Attempt at beating those gyms again. I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. None of the gym leaders give us a, to a ton of trouble. At least none that I remember. Let's we'll take a look here. And remember, if we when we're doing this the second time, they're gonna have upgraded teams, which should be more type centric. I'll skip the berries. Right. So instead of the electric guy only having one electric Pokemon, he should have. Uh, Uh, 
So Rourke will have more rock. The electric guy will have more electric. Not worried about the ice. Not worried about the steel. The water guy might be a little bit more challenging. Just if Breloom's not as strong. Um, yeah, I'm not overly worried. The fighting could give us some trouble. But I guess we'll see. What was our time? How long have we been playing? 51 hours. Not bad, not bad. Okay, um, so yeah, we're back in the town. I don't think we need uh, Battle Park. I don't think there's anything here necessarily for us. Okay, point card. Yeah, I would like to see the rules. What is this? Yeah. Nah, I don't want to do this. We'll just go do our uh, our challenge here. So, we'll f come on. What am I doing here? Come on. This one. Town map. Thank you. Okay, so the first one is in Orberg. So we'll fly here, heal up our guys, and I guess we'll go attempt to take on uh, Rourke here, the first gym leader. I'm pretty sure we fought him in episode... Did we get to him in episode one, or did we stop right before? I don't remember. Okay, let's take a look here. How's our team looking before we do this battle? So Infernape, Breloom, Metacham, Cham. Yeah, this gym, rock type, not overly worried about. If I can remember where the gym is actually at. Uh, nope, nope. Here we go. Okay, so Rourke was the one that told us about the gym leaders being ready to fight again. So I am gonna save just because I know we haven't saved in a while here. So at 51 hours, we begin the last stages of our playthrough. So a quick picture with everyone. There we go. Okay, so let's go. Say, so lost you. I've been rethinking everything. I know about the strengths and weaknesses of rock type Pokemon over and over and over. And then it hit me. Rock type Pokemon are simply the best. Eh, are they though? Oh, I shouldn't have had uh, Infernape out for this first battle. Okay, so what we'll do, who's he got? Tyranitar to start. Okay, and I bet she has Sandstream. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's see. Yeah, so now the rest of his Pokemon are gonna be, they're gonna thrive in this Sandstorm. Let's go, oh, almost level 70. Okay, okay. So let's go close combat. Knock this guy out. <laughs> Gone. Dealt with. And now I can we can switch in and out and get uh, get the right type matchups we want here. Even though Infernape could take these guys, I don't want to risk them hitting him with a rock move and affecting him even more because he's fire type. So let's say I'm all the bug rock. Um, I guess we go with Machamp. Yeah, we we'll go with Machamp. I guess Machamp might be able to do quite a few of these guys because, right, this rock type are generally a little heavier. I don't think our Maul, though, weighs a ton. So we'll go with Cross Chop on this one. We'll see how this goes. Ouch. Quick though, I guess the champ ain't the fastest, right? Did I miss? Oh, what the heck happened there? Oh, okay, so he's making it tricky here. Another earthquake. I must have missed on that first one. I didn't even realize it. Okay, so doing a little bit more damage than I would like. 
Can I get him with a crop? No, I won't go to get him. Let's see, does low kick? Is he heavy enough to get him with a low kick? Nope. So he's gonna knock me out here, unless my champ holds on. But no, that's all right. Okay, so my champ's out. One down. It's embarrassing. Okay. Let's get. I guess Medicham out, and we'll use his extra strength. Even though he's not that much, uh, that much weaker than, that much stronger than, um, he's a drain punch. Oh, good call. But he doesn't have that berry anymore, so. Get him. Let's try low kick again. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I hope this sandstorm fades away quick here. Steel type, right? Rock steel. Hmm. Let's go with Infernape again. But I know this guy sometimes has sturdy, so. But we'll go with the fire type against the steel type. I think Probass is a pretty pretty cool Pokemon. Did I get him? Ooh. Not nearly as much as I thought I was going to do there. Okay, so we'll go with our fight. We'll go back, switch back to fighting. And we'll go with uh, close combat here. At least if he had sturdy, it didn't affect me, right? Okay, okay, let's see. Oh, that perfect subsided. Relicanth. See, this would be a perfect time, but that guys are way stronger than me. I don't know if Relum can do it. No, he's definitely not going to be fast enough. No, let's get Heracross in here. Or Lucario. No, let's get Lucario in here. See if I can... Oh, I shouldn't have put him against... That's alright. We should be fine. I don't know how fast this uh, Relicanth is going to be. Oh, what? Oh, did I... High set... Why is... Tyranitar was way stronger than this guy. I probably could have used Brelum. That's all right. No biggie. Lucario gets the job done. I thought these guys only had five guys. They're running the six Pokemon team here. Aerodactyl. Flying. Oh. That doesn't... Um, actually, let's go with Medicham. And go ice. I know ice isn't the most effective against rock, but it is against flying, so <laughs> let's get a ice punch in here. Oh, I didn't see what his ability was. I was looking away. Oh, it is super. Uh, stealth rock. That's all right. If I have to keep uh, Medicham in here, that's fine. I can keep him in here. Buttes. Got him. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll keep him in against the round for this. Here comes his trump card. Hmm. Guess we'll see. 72A. Eh? Let's go with Drain Punch. They're gonna be faster. For a Pokemon that's supposed to be, like, he uses his speed to his advantage, though. Ramphrodos is, isn't quite as fast as I, most people would think. Like, the dinosaur that he's based off of would gather speed before smashing his head, right? So you'd think that they would build that into Raphrodus, but 
Guess not. There we go. One down. Oh, cool. Thanks for the sticker. Okay, there we go. So that's one down. I'm not overly worried about the next. <sighs> Come on. Next gym, which is not hard home. Uh, right here. Mm, I think for the most part, Infernape should be able to deal with this gym. I'll be able to put Metachime in as well. The ice is effective. Other than that, should be good. Guess we'll see. Okay, so what are we running here? Almost an hour and a half. So I think what we'll do, guys, we'll try to get through the first. We'll see how the next battle goes. Next two battles. I want to do at least two. More gym leaders today. Possibly the fourth one. And then that'll be it for today. Okay, so this was the grass maze. It was quite easy to finish. Okay, smile for the camera. Make sure our team's all set up. And let's go. Okay, what does she have to say? You kept me waiting, Pierre. When I first saw you, I knew it sooner or later. This kid was going to defeat the champion. Losing with the winning aura of a really tough trainer, but it makes me think if I can beat you now, then I'll be the toughest trainer there is. We'll see. So, yeah, I knew that Rourke had a Travitar. I have no idea who the rest of these guys have, so we'll see how it goes. All right, starting with a jump bluff. Looks cool. I actually don't mind what jump bluff looks like, but not an overly effective Pokemon. Not super fast, not overly strong. So Flamethrower should get him. Yeah, it helps that my guy is 30 levels above them. That's for sure. Yeah, the more I think about that water gym might actually come out to be a little bit challenging. Torterra. Um, actually, let's switch uh, Metachaman for this one. We'll go with Ice Punch on this one because Torterra is going to be slower than me, that's for sure. But it should have the four times effective against him. Yeah, I think uh, Metacham and Infernape might just dummy this gym, that's for sure. Alright, two of six down. Sure makes a long battle when they have six Pokemon. Sunflora, same thing. Not an overly effective uh, grass type. Or better. And I'm not a huge fan of what Sunflora looks like. I know I gave, I said Jumpluff looks cool. Now to say Sunflora doesn't. Especially when Sunflower is one of my favorite flowers. I think they look pretty cool. Sunflora, meh. Nee, doesn't do it for me. Okay, let's get uh, Infernape back in here for a few battles. So it looks like she's going to be a little easier than Rourke was. There was. Just the extra typing on the rock type was what made it tough. He's extra typing on grass. Well, she's had three guys that are just straight grass. And one grass ground. Uh, she gets to have the grass flying, but... How did he hold on? Does he actually have a focus sash? Well, I'll take the sunny day, because he just made Infernape stronger. Ooh. She got brighter in here. I'll just power up punch in here. Oh, should have thought about that. Oh, I, I still can't beat him with one punch, right? So I need to do this. Now I can get him with flamethrower. 
And yeah, the sunny day just pumps my flamethrower up even more, so yikes. Bad call. Ooh, a Breloom. Huh. Well, I'm going to keep Infernape out here because he has the bonuses from the sunny day. Can't say no to that. Yeah, Breloom's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. I like him. I wish we could have got him earlier in the game so that he would actually be useful. Because right now I'm literally... He's just sitting there. Wasting his space, pretty much. Oh, what was I doing? Her, uh, Rose Raid? Yep. Well, go hard or go home, right? Player Blitz? There we go. So level 72 there at the end. So it's not like they're, they're weak. I am definitely a little overpowered, but watch me eat my own words when I get dummied in the next battle. Okay, level 96 for Infernape, 53. Well, he's going to have almost 200. He'll be close to level 60 by the time we get to Elite Four, which will put him around 200 attack. Oh, thanks. A sticker. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Um, okay, that one's pretty easy. Um, let's see. Who do we have next? The fighting gym, which is... I don't remember. Not hard home. Gotta be here, right? Veilstone. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll beat Veilstone and the Hard Home Gym Leader. Er, I guess Hard Home is fifth, right? Uh, close case. Yeah, so we have to do. We'll do the fighting one here, and then the Crash or Wake. And then we'll do the next four and the Elite Four next playthrough. Oh, I wanted to heal in there. Sorry, my bad. Running in and out of buildings. Okay, let's see. I think I have to go all the way around this way. It's been a while since we did these gyms. I don't remember. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what she is going to have. Come on, do I have to actually do the puzzle again? No way, <laughs> come on. I really hope that doesn't mean I have to do the puzzles in the other areas too. Or did I miss a way to go? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's the only way it could go. There wasn't like a secondary route, was there? No. I actually have to do the puzzle again.
Huh. Yeah, that's... I wonder why I had to do that. Usually they say send. Okay, here we go. Quick picture, quick save. I don't really have any moves to go against fighting. I don't have any flying moves. So, I guess it's just going to be an all out brawl on this one. Her strongest against my strongest. Physical attack against physical attack. I guess she has a Lucario at the end. Right? So I can use... Uh, if I can keep... Uh, Infinite alive, I'll be able to beat his, her, uh, Lucario. Oh, I forgot that he had Intimidate. Hmm. Okay, okay, I see how it is. So we'll use a special attack instead. Ouch. That's not what I want to see. Okay, so I'm gonna try to save Infernape here. Get some other guys out. Not Lucario. He's not gonna be very useful here. I guess. Oh, you know who I can use? I can use my Metacham. But I'll use my. No! Come on! I just. I need to get hair across out here. Did I flare blitz him? Yep. Let's see if I can get him here. Because if this guy, this guy has a chance to run through my team. Yeah, there we go. So I get my mid time out. I forgot that I had the psychic. So stupid sometimes. So I'll get my mid time out and we'll. we'll Okay, well, it's not going to work against him, but Rock will work against him. Or Fire. No. I got to I have to get an uh, infinite out of here, so. I'll go with my champ. Then I will get uh, female my champ, I see. Close combat. All she's using is just spamming close combat on me. I should just return the favor. But lowering that defense is going to hurt her here. Oh, and holding a flame orb? Oh, is she going to try to heal her hair across here? Yeah, she is. I should have I should have healed. Uh... I should have healed. Uh... Infernape there. Well, he's burnt again. If he uses close, oh, so this is gonna hurt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. That facade could mess me up here. I'm gonna actually have to use Infernape. That's right, I switch him out so he's not hurting. Oh, I can get a flamethrower in and then switch him out. And get Metacham in here. Cause I'm sure she'll use him a champ. I wonder if that Lucar, there's no way that Lucar will be faster than me. Not at this high of a level. That's right. He'll still work. Inf uh, Meta Jam will still work. It wouldn't have been nice to have the, the rock type move, but that's okay. Interesting to see two fighting teams going against each other. I should have been using Meta Jam earlier. Yeah, he would have dummied this team. It wouldn't have even been close. That's what I get for not remembering my typing. Uh, Umbrella.
Breloom again. Another Breloom. Um, I'll keep Medicham out. I wonder, is Ice going to be super effective? No, we'll still use Zen Head, but it'll be... Oh, come on. Ah, that's alright. Lowering my speed. I guess if he knocks him out here, that's alright, because I have the... Fire Pokemon coming up next. I should have just healed uh, Infernape here. Boom. Yeah, I'm actually kind of worried about this water guy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him. I'm going to have to rely on my secondary typing to beat him. Okay, let's go with Infernape. Should be fast. Definitely going to be faster. Even a properly trained Lucario at the level deficit should not be faster than my Infernape. Uh, well, let's just play the to be safe here. Oh, and he's probably holding a Focus Sash. Well, now I'm glad I didn't use the... Oh, as if. Water Pulse. Of course, it confuses me. Okay, well, I'm not worried about her Lucario, though. Even though I am down quite a few guys. Whoa. What the heck was that move? I've never seen that before. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be faster than my user full restore. This is my screw up if I lose this battle. No way, get out of here. Nope. There we go. Yeah, that would have been my fault for not putting Metacham out. But I beat him. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna beat this water guy. Okay, there we go. Three down. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. Another sticker. Thanks. Come back and battle you tomorrow. Not if I have to do this stupid puzzle again. It didn't take me long, but. Still, what a waste of my time. Okay, the last gym of the day down here, I believe, in Pastoria City. And that's it. That'll be it for today. This should be this this one actually might be half decently tough. So let's heal up here. Do I put Infernape. Do I switch Infernape out to start? Nah. Go hard or go home, right? What we've been doing the whole time. Um, no. We're good. Everyone's good to go. Yes, yeah, so uh, the last one actually knocked out a few more than I would have liked, but that's totally on me. That was bad. Bad switches on my part, which I feel is my biggest thing. Sometimes I just button mash too much. Please don't tell me I have to be... <sighs> Do I really? Why do I have to do all these puzzles? Oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? Nope.
What is happening here? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Just because I did it one time. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that ice one again. That one took me forever. Okay, take a picture. I have a feeling this one's gonna be tough. Okay. I heard you know you defeated the champion. Not the raging rapids you are, or a surgeon C, but I'll take everything I can throw at you. Okay. I'm actually like doing these these battles are making me worried about the Ooh, sometimes he knows psychic moves is he he must be water psychic made it rain so water type are gonna be a little bit more effective here okay let's try to get him out of the way quick oh it's psychic though oh man, that works okay so make sure we do proper type switching here. Kindra. Okay, so I want Meta Channel for this one. I think the water negates the effectiveness of the ice move, maybe. Oh, it's fast. Oh, yeah, that's a good chunk. Definitely not. A oh, nice. See if I can get him a Zen headbutt here. As if he thought out on the first try. Holy cow. That's a sucker punch. Well, oh, they're both going to be slower than this. This guy. So do I go for the dual chop? Oh, yeah, I don't have close combat, so. Well, at least he put himself to sleep here. So, do chop, dual chop is effective. Oh, and he's gonna wake himself up instantly. Oh, come on. I'm not getting lucky at all with these. Throws him solid. Unthaws himself on the first go. Okay, so he's gonna heal himself here. Or use rest. Full restore. Okay, I should have healed. That's my stupidity there. Oh, he probably has swift swim. That's why he's faster than me. Yeah, you're not gonna be the only one. Oh, do I use the max revive? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's four hydro pumps, so can't have that many left. Yeah, he has a swift swim. That's what. That's why he's so much faster than me. Okay, let's go with Heracross. I know he's not very fast, but he has close combat, so maybe I can use his strength to my advantage here. Well, at least he can't wake himself up this time. Stopped. 
Yeah, all this guy's battle techniques. They're useless now. You fool! And I've only lost one guy. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see. Can I go through him a couple? What's he got next? Ludicolo. Water grass, which is a pain. But neither are super effective against Heracross. So I'm going to keep Heracross out here. Oh, I should have went with Metacham and Ice Punch. That's alright. Um, oh, I got Megahorn. Megahorn will be effective against them. Oh, this is what confused me. Yeah. Come on, Heracross. Come on, Heracross. Yes! Good job. Ludicolo is a sick Pokemon. I'll give him that. He actually looks really, he looks really cool in uh, Detective Pikachu. Okay. Oh, no, I knew he was going to have one of these two. So i got to hope that Metacham. Metacham, mm, yeah, I don't think he's going to be faster. This Gyarados could be a problem. Because he's going to intimidate me. Which is fine. If I can get him down a little bit. Oh no, that's going to be tough to beat. If I can get him down enough, I should be able to close con. Ooh, two of them? I mean, he still wasn't faster than... Oh, he was faster than my... Uh... Come on, use it one more time. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, nice. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> way to be... Just a straight water type. Do I try Breloom? Yeah. I'll put a lead. Now we'll go with Breloom. If he can beat him, then that's awesome. If he can't, then Meta Channel will come back in and finish him off. I'm just glad we got rid of that Gyarados. Holy cow. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Okay. Okay, Ice Fang. That got me good. That got me good. Let's go with Lucario and see if I can get him with a close combat here. He's probably going to be faster than me. Oh, nice. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. It's not what I wanted. Doesn't this... Oh, this just destroys his uh, defense. Pumps his attack and his speed. You're going to be faster than me now. That's going to hurt. This hunt, this guy's giving me a little trouble here. I really hope I don't lose to him. It's going to be... Oh, I shouldn't have put Heracross out. Let's go with Counter. If he does, Heracross can hold on here. Nice. Bye. So Infinite's still full health. Uh, we'll see if I can beat the Float Soul with Heracross here. If not, then I should be able to... Oh, he's water type. No, because I'll be fast. Is he going to be faster than my Infinite? Is the biggest thing. 
Still brick break. It's faster than hair across. Oh, coming down the the wire. And I got lucky on some of these ones. Oh no. Nice. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him here. Get him here. Oh, oh that was too close. Way too close. Yeah, though I water was when I didn't have the type advantage against the whole time. That was when I was a little worried about. Um, out of the rest of the gym leaders, I'm not overly concerned. Whew. That one got my heart pumping a little bit. Um, okay, well, that's what we're that's where we're gonna call it today. I'll we'll save. Um, what I might do is I might do a little bit, well, Brelin would have come in handy this battle for sure. I might need to put a little bit of extra training in with the Brelum. Um, but awesome. Perfect, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching along here. Um, we might do, I'm aiming for, yeah, next Monday might be our last episode. Should be, it'll be our last episode for sure of the series. Um, I would like to challenge Elite Four and the rest of these gym leaders. So we'll go from there, guys. Awesome. Uh, it's been a good time hanging out. We'll catch you later.